To celebrate Magic's 30th anniversary, I spent almost $1,000 on four packs of Magic cards. Plus, got a revised booster. Let's open them up and see what's inside. Hi friends, welcome back to Nearly Sane Games. I'm Neil, and today we're looking at Magic's 30th anniversary. Now normally on this channel we cover flesh and blood, but like many of you, I got my start in Magic. and for Magic's 30th anniversary, I thought, what better way to celebrate than to open some packs and take a look at some of the cards that came from Magic's past. So let's take a look. All right, here's that uh, beautiful revised booster pack. Never had the opportunity to open one of these, but uh, this looks like it's in good condition, and we'll save that for later. And now we'll get to this. This is uh, my version of the 30th anniversary uh, edition. Um, honestly, I, I wasn't very happy with uh, Magic's, uh, the Wizards uh, version of that, selling us a bunch of proxies. Uh, my cost on this was uh, $998.26, so just under $1,000. Um, but this is uh, my version of uh, Wizards 30th anniversary and I also made four packs and uh, the biggest difference is that my packs all include real cards so I will have pretty much the same contents but with a little bit better thing now we get uh, two lands in modern frames. Uh, here's the first land. Then in each pack we'll have uh, seven commons. Uh, these are commons that are um, from beta, uh, but with modern frames. And, uh, and so I, I decided to go through and pick out different cards uh, that have been reprinted with modern frames and uh, kind of enjoy a little bit of Magic's past. Uh, I've played Magic for uh, several years, uh, since uh, 2012, I think, is when I got started in it. And uh, I think that these are uh, cool to kind of go back through, and this, this kind of brings you through uh, Magic's history a little bit. Uh, these are all... Uh, real cards. Uh, one of the things I considered when thinking about this was, uh, do I buy uh, special edition cards or uh, other proxies for this? But I think in the end, I, I wanted real cards. Uh, I like the idea of the product, uh, not so much Wizards at Execution. Here we get our second land. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the original swamp with all of its uh, branches and stuff. And then we get into our uncommons. We'll have three uncommons for each pack. Got a Dragon Whelp. Got an Icy Manipulator from Dominaria. And a Wall of Swords. I, I have liked this card in the past. It's kind of a fun uh, wall card. And then we go to our rare. And this rare that I got for this pack is a Plateau. This is a revised edition. Uh, this was listed in near mint condition. Uh, it's a very clean looking card, uh, very clean surface. Uh, probably could uh, grade as an 8.5 or higher. Uh, this is the, the first dual land that I've ever owned and uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited to have it and uh, excited to get in on this. And then we have our old bordered land. Let's put this one up here a little bit. Uh, I specifically was looking for uh, ones that had the text on it that said that you tap to add mana in the pool. Then we have our old frame card. And for this we have a uh, time, spiral, time Spiral Remastered. Uh, they said they were using the same, same treatment for it, so uh, I figured that was fair game. Uh, and then we have a token. Why is there a token in here? I don't know. 
Um, but you can have a token with that. And here we go with my second pack. Um, and this is kind of will also serve as, you know, an, an alternate. If you were considering buying the 30th anniversary, maybe uh, you want to consider uh, doing this. I picked out all these cards myself. You can get the, uh, you can see the prices I paid for all of them. I'll leave a spreadsheet in the description of every card, every version, uh, the quant, the uh, uh, condition that each card was sold in. Uh, here's an old unsummon, a lot of fun. A shatter. And uh, you can see for yourself. And that's a cool unholy strength. Look at that. Wild growth. Oh, the hill giant, of course. Got to have a 3-3 uh, three, three for 4. Um, and there are a lot of different directions I could have gone with this. I could have worked on getting some actual beta cards in here. And uh, uh, that would be difficult, but at first, some of the commons, we could have done that. Let's get into our uncommons here. Oh, yeah. And we also have uh, the Mark Pool Secret Lair, which, uh, you know, these cards are almost exactly what they're uh, giving in that uh, 30th anniversary product. Uh, got the original art in the new frame, and uh, so I thought that was kind of a cool thing to include there if I could. Old lure and a stone giant. And we have, uh, speaking of that Mark Poole secret layer, here is the uh, Mark Poole Birds of Paradise. Uh, again, this is this could be one of your packs if you picked up the 30th anniversary. Uh, but all of these cards are tournament legal and uh, have the original magic card back. So uh, I think that's fun to go through while we have our old frame planes. And uh, our old frame card is Pestilence. Pretty cool. And then we have a beast token. I had kind of a, a specific target in mind. I wanted to make sure I got all the cards that would be included in the pack. Uh, all these cards are purchased new. Uh, I considered filtering through my collection to make these decks, but I think in the true spirit of everything, uh, everything was purchased at uh, a single go. This is all purchased from Card Kingdom. Not a sponsor, but uh, they were able to have everything uh, that I needed. Um, invisibility. Oh, and some fear. Fireball. And here's our second land of the pack. We get to a Black Knight. Yeah, protection from white. Uh, this is from the uh, uh, Mystery Boosters or uh, the, uh, uh, the list. I'm not sure which, but it has a little symbol in the corner. Uh, that's another thing that you could do if you are interested in spending money and celebrating the 30 years of magic is uh, pick up a box of mystery boosters. That has been the most fun draft experience uh, that I think I've ever had. Uh, here's a regrowth. And of course, we've got to have a Sarah Angel in there. And for our rare, we have a Scrubland. Uh, this Scrubland is was considered in, uh, I believe this was very good condition. You can see a little white edging around around the edges, and it's uh, it's definitely has some uh, scratches uh, on the surface. So it's not in the best condition, but uh, this is a very good condition card. Um, if you're looking for dual lands to uh, play in Commander, you can pick the ones you wanted. Uh, I I could have uh, picked. Honestly, I could have gotten any of the, the different uh, dual lands that I wanted. 
uh, but I pick these in particular uh, because I, I don't own any dual lands, and so I wanted to get a variety of them and uh, kind of show you what they are in different conditions. Uh, if I wanted to go uh, low condition, I could have gotten uh, maybe more. Uh, here's a forest, and our old frame card is a resurrection uh, from Time Spiral Remastered. And of course, our token. And we have one more pack to open up. So, if you're considering spending the $1,000, um, I would highly recommend picking out your own. Uh, you can pick what you want, get the variety you want, you can skip all the commons if you don't care about those. There's a flight. Uh, Raise dead. It's pretty cool. Stone rain. Gotta have some land destruction in there. Of course, the crawl worm. And Tim. It's Tim. And then we go into our final set of uncommons. We've got an air elemental. A Rod of Ruin, and a Sangir Vampire. And for our rare, it's a Savannah. Now this is the worst of the three lands that I got. This is considered in good condition from Card Kingdom. You can see plenty of wear around the edge. Uh, and there's there's considerable amount of dirt on this card. This card's had some love. But again, this is, uh, you're looking at the cheapest version of this card available on there. Um, and this is a completely playable card. Um, if, if you're looking to have this in your deck, um, for my $1,000, which really wasn't a real $1,000, this was all done through trade-ins, but I was able to get myself three dual lands and uh, have all the extras here as well. Have all the experience. Um, and in all honesty, much of what you're going to get from the 30th anniversary will be very similar. And our old frame card is an air elemental. Again, uh, mystery boosters. I really recommend uh, drafting that if you haven't. It's a great experience. And we have a demon for the token. All right, so... This is my 30th edition. Uh, I thought this was a lot of fun. I thought it was a lot of fun picking out the cards. I hope you had fun kind of opening them. And to give you an idea of a very real idea of what you can get for $1,000. If you want four packs of um, old magic cards, cards that were in beta, and uh, uh, you can do that. But you can also purchase yourself some real cards um, that you can use to play with that are tournament legal. And also for this, we've got this revised booster pack. Uh, I picked this up because I've never opened a pack of revised, and I thought that sounded like a lot of fun. And so here we go. Um, these packs are supposed to be from uh, directly from a box and not searched so we'll see about that uh, now there's only a nine percent chance to actually hit a card that is worth anything here so we got about uh, at nine percent to hit either a dual land or um, uh, wheel of fortune and those are about the only ones that only rares that are going to make us back have a chance to make us back our money but uh, I think it'll still be fun to open this anyway. Dwarven Warriors. Look at those guys. All right. And then an old island, because we got to have lands in the middle here. And a forest. Can have all the lands in this. Weakness. See, I really don't recommend opening a box of, or a pack of revised. Uh, Probably won't get our money back on this, but it's an experience that I would like like to have had. 
Oh, circle protection red. Very cool. That old artwork. Ooh, Merfolk of the Pearl Trident. Neat. Chandelin Dryads. Forest Walk. In a swamp. Get those old sticky artwork. A lot of sticks. Reconstruction. And this one should be our rare. Put that up front. And a forest. Here's our uncommons. Crumble. And a wonderlust. And a swamp, an uncommon swamp. And here's our rare. Dun, da, da, da. It is a Jade My Tome. Great. Draw a card for four and tap. See? Totally useful. All right. Well, that was uh, our video. If you uh, would like, I'd, I'd please hit the like button. And uh, consider hitting the share button. That'll help us really boost the, uh, really helps the algorithm for getting this video seen. And uh, share this with your friends, you know, that friends that are talking about, hey, maybe uh, maybe 30th anniversary, maybe I want to spend $1,000 on, uh, on proxy cards. Uh, when instead, you could spend $1,000 and get uh, actual dual lands and uh, have those in your collection. Uh, it, if I wanted higher quality, I probably could have gotten two at near mint for that price, um, or potentially one of the, uh, the more expensive blue lands. Uh, everything was uh, within $1,000 uh, for any of the, the cards they wanted. So I think that there's a, a lot of options that you could go with. And uh, I recommend, uh, you know, looking for alternatives than giving Papa Hasbro uh, $1,000 for um, junk. So, until next time, uh, I'm Neil, and you've been watching Nearly Sane Games.